guys, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to make a very simple app with SwiftUI. All we're going to do in this app is we're going to have a button and when we click on that button, it's going to increase the value of an integer by one and that value of the integer will be shown on screen. It's a very simple app, but with this app, you'll be understanding some fundamentals of SwiftUI such as stacks and button actions and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's get started. So as with any new Xcode project, the first thing you need to do is obviously open up Xcode. We're going to make a new project and we're going to have a single view application. We're going to name this product counter and please be sure to enable Swift UI. Otherwise, the rest of this tutorial doesn't really make sense. So we're going to choose where we're going to save it and I'm going to save it in my Xcode projects and let's put the screen to full screen. Alright, so now we don't see anything on the right. So for that, we need to click on resume so that we have the uh, canvas on our right and we have the code editor to the left. Alright, so now we have the iPhone XR canvas on the right and we are now going to start editing our code. So the basic layout of this app will have a text field on the top as well as a button at the bottom of the text field. So it's going to be in something that's called a vertical stack. So for that, we're going to embed this text inside a V stack or a vertical stack. And underneath this text, we're going to add in a button. It's very simple. The thing is the button uh, action requires a few parameters. So if you do button and open bracket, you'll see some of the functions that are built in. So these are the parameters that we need to pass. So the first thing is an action and then we need to add something called a label. Now, this is a usual way of making a button, but there is a new way in Swift UI how you can make buttons with a text. So for that, all you need to do is make another text field and I'm going to say this is a click me and because this is a text, you can do whatever manipulations you want with the text. So you can say it's font is of type headline and that will change click me to a headline font and we can embed this text in a button. So we're going to say text, we're going to command click on text and we're going to say embed in button. So now this click me is now a button and this hello world is just a text. Now we need to make a variable that holds the integer where we can manipulate that variable and since this variable will have a state or its basic property will change with respect to its runtime, we're going to have to make a state variable right underneath the view structure. So we're going to say at state var uh, integer or uh, integer is the keyword. So we're just going to say count and we're going to say it's of type integer and its initial value is zero. And instead of showing hello world in the text, we're going to replace it and we're going to do a string interpolation and show the value of the integer, which is called count. And now hello world will have count. So we need to click on resume. So in case we make big changes, Xcode waits for us to resume. So now we have zero and we have click me. And now we're going to also manipulate some of the properties of this text. So we're going to say font and this is also of type headline. Or in fact, even to make this bigger, what we can do is we're going to say font and font.system and the system we can adjust its size so we're going to say it's of size 30 and so the size increases now the last thing that we need to do is when we click on this button we need to increase the value of this integer by one so as you can see in actions there is a open parentheses and close parentheses and within this is where we'll write our code so it's a very simple code we're going to say self.count is equal to count plus one so whatever the value of count was, take that value, add one to it, and then assign it back to count. This is how you can read it. Now there are some problems here. Since it says count is a, in a closure, you need to include self in it. And that's a bit more advanced topic that we really won't go inside in this video, but that's all this program does. So all this button does is once you click on this button, it takes the value of that integer, adds one to it, assigns it back to that integer. And since it's a state variable, it now mutates the property of the view and shows that value on the screen. So to see if our app is working, all we're going to do is click on this play button. And now if we click on click me, as we can see, the button increases the value of the integer by one and that value of integer is shown on the screen. So it's a very simple app, but this will give you some understanding of the fundamentals of SwiftUI. So if you guys learned anything from this video, or if you are excited for more SwiftUI tutorials like this in the future, be sure to hit the subscribe button at the bottom of this video. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave that in the comment section down below. I'll be answering all the questions. And if you have any video suggestions, those are always welcome. I guess that's been it. Thank you so much for watching this quick tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next video.